So another thing that was going on this week was on Tuesday, November 21st, the United States government charged and found guilty Binance, the world's largest cryptocurrency exchange. And it fined them $4 billion and the CEO CZ resigned. And I'm assuming he resigned because he was facing criminal charges. I mean, with that much embezzlement, or I guess for them, it's AML, AML, anti-money laundering laws. Who knows how far, how long he was going to get put away. But apparently they say he violated the Bank Secrecy Act and anti-money laundering laws. So they decided to basically just take over the exchange because one of the agreements that Binance had to submit to was a five-year monitorship under FinCEN. And FinCEN is the Financial Crime Enforcement Bureau of the United States Treasury Department. And there's layers to this. Now that the government has access to Binance, everything that's correlated with that's going to be also in the access of the United States government. I don't know if you guys remember, but back in, I think it was 2021, the United States government under the Department of Justice was investigating Tether. And that's because they thought they were doing bank frauding because they would just mint all these Tether coins and the Tether coins are pegged to the US dollar. So that's basically just counterfeiting US currency because it's pegged to the dollar. So people could, literally people could just buy Tether and hold it and it wouldn't devalue because it was pegged to the dollar. But that didn't really go anywhere. But now that the government has access to all of Binance's transactions, all of their ledgers, they're going to see everything. You guys should know about FTX. They were using its subsidy investing arm Alameda, and they would mint Tether. And I think at one point they minted almost $40 billion of Tether. And then from that, they would use exchanges like Binance or FTX itself as an off-ramp to cash out that money. Because you remember, all this crypto is just digital money. It's not cash. So until you get the cash, it's also all Fugazi. Now, you could transact things, and if people agree to transact for the Tether or whatever, then that's fine. But the goal is to get the cash. It's just like anything. If you print a bunch of fake currency, like if if you're a counterfeiter and you print a bunch of fake money, the goal is to give sell... Trade the fake money for real money. So you go to a gas station, you give them a fake hundred, and they give you change of real cash. That's the objective. So it's the same thing. They're minting all this fake money, this tether, but the objective is to get actual cash, not to hold all this tether. But they minted literally $40 billion of tether. And this is what was going on with FTX. But now that the United States government has access to Binance and all its transactions and records, They're going to be able to see everything. All the people who were using Tether and Binance to off-ramp the cash. So another group that was doing this outside of FTX was Tron. The Tron network was suspected that the Russian government would pay groups like the Wagner Group in Tether using the Tron network. And then those people would go from the Tron network to Binance and off-ramp the tether into either U.S. currency or the rubles. But they didn't want to get paid in rubles because rubles had such a variable fluctuation. You know, you got paid X amount today, but next week it could be, you know, who knows what. But the tether was pegged to the dollar. So all of this Fugazi nonsense that was messed with Binance, which is the largest exchange in the world. So everybody was interconnected with Binance. The U.S. government now has access to all of it. And so what was another interesting thing is that under this agreement, CZ had to resign as CEO. So they had to make, put a new CEO for Binance, and they have an American arm of Binance called Binance US. So they had to create two new CEOs. So the CEO of Binance, his name is Richard Ting, or Ting. He's a member of the World Economic Forum. And then Binance US, her name is Catherine Coley, and she's also a member of the World Economic Forum. So you have the two new CEOs, both World Economic Forum members. And the only person that's left is Coinbase. 
which makes me believe Coinbase is a government op. But I'll talk about that in a hot take. I'll connect all those dots for you guys. But it's just interesting that the, the IRS wants everybody to know, hey, man, if you got crypto, no tax. Go ahead and cash it out. And it is in season. So you can buy you know, your spouse or your kids or whoever uh, that Ferrari that they've always wanted or whatever, you know, just take it out. Yeah. If you make less than $44,000 as an individual or $89,000 as a family, 0% capital gains. And I thought it was interesting. All this stuff is going on. Kraken is just getting investigated too. I think uh, this Monday, this past Monday, November 20th, Kraken now is investigated by the SEC. Last month, FTX got shut down. This, just this past Tuesday, Binance, the world's largest cryptocurrency exchange, is now taken over by the United States government. And they have to comply to a five-year monitorship of FinCEN. So the United States Treasury will have access to all of Binance's transactions. So they're going to see it all. All that nonsense with Tether, all that nonsense with Tron, all that nonsense with FTX. The government's going to see all of it now. 